Just when you'd thought that the Copilot updates may well have finished this year, I'm here to show you even more Copilot updates. Because yes, Microsoft Ignite came to a close last week, and we also covered the big announcements from Microsoft Ignite. But there were also a series of smaller Copilot changes, both announced at Ignite and also prior, that I'm going to cover them with you today. Yes, there'll be nine new Copilot features we're going to be checking out today ranging from translating a PowerPoint presentation into an entirely different language, all the way to using a new agent to build your Microsoft Form surveys without you having to draft one single question. And before we head into Copilot, please let me know if this video helps you by hitting that like button and the all important subscribe button so you don't miss any tutorials just like this one. So let's now head into Copilot together and check out these nine new features. So let's start off with the first two changes which apply in Microsoft Outlook. I'm using a new version of Outlook here, and here I have an invitation that I'm also now sharing with Nestor to discuss a Project Green Space financial review meeting. Now I may need to come up with an agenda to get the best outcomes from our meeting, but now with the help of Copilot, we can go ahead and select this new button here to draft an agenda for me. By left clicking this option, Copilot now analyzes the subject line of the meeting and who also has been invited, and uses our work data using Work IQ to now come back with information that we could cover inside of our meeting. Yes, this is not a generic agenda, it's using your work data to come up with the best possible agenda for this meeting topic. We can see that here, but these different references shown one, two, and three. This information is coming from a review meeting I had with Alex talking about the financial review and then also a separate catch up meeting. So I'm quite happy with this now as our agenda, so I can go ahead and select keep it. But you'll now see there are no co-pilot references, meaning the people that now receive this agenda, well, they'll think that you've created it yourself. So there you go. Copilot can now help us create an agenda based upon real information and sources right inside of your own work account. And there's another new feature coming into Copilot with Outlook, allowing us to also prepare for our meeting. Once you've now have an invite in your calendar, we can go ahead and open any of your invitations. At the top of the screen, you'll now see a new section to prepare for your meeting. So we can select any of these options here to confirm what we might need to prepare for the meeting in advance. Let's select talking points and we'll see on the right hand side that Copilot now adds a prompt which is automatically generated, reviewing all the materials provided for this meeting and recent communications, identifying the most important talking points to add value to this meeting. And then beneath that, well, you'll see the key focus areas that we should also prepare for for this meeting. So we can see that here in this meeting invitation. But let's now go ahead and close this down and open the invite that we've just shared with Nestor in our past Copilot example. And we can see here at the top, this already shows insights preparing for my meeting with Nestor and covering off the key points I should also prepare for to make sure again, I can come to the meeting with the right information. We can also select from these pre-configured options, what pre-read should I review? Once again, opens a Copilot chat sidebar right inside of Outlook and will now come back with information to get ready for that meeting. So yes, you can now prepare for your meetings right inside of Outlook with the help of Copilot. And there's also some new changes coming to the Microsoft 365 Copilot app. You can get to this app by browsing in a web browser tab to m365.cloud.microsoft. And in here, we see a new option on the left-hand navigation bar which is noted as library. By selecting this, it now gives us a list of the recent Copilot pages we've worked with, allowing us to click into them to get quick access back to that content. But in addition, in the library tab, there's also a new option. This will be images. The images section now shows you images that you've created with the help of Copilot Crate. Yes, AI generated images you've created previously will now be visible that you can also click into and access again. This was a real difficult scenario in Copilot Crate before because very often when I created new images with it, well, I simply just couldn't find them and get back to them quickly. But now with a new library tab inside of your Copilot app, you can get back to both your pages and images really quickly. 
and there's a new change coming into Copilot Search. By using the search option on the left hand side of our Copilot app, we can search for files, folders or people. And here we can see a variety of different proposal results, PowerPoints and Word documents. By left clicking this top file here, you'll see a new overview button. Selecting this will now open a new AI overview tab. It outlines what's in the content, so you'll be able to understand if it's the right file for you, including who created it, modified it, the total views, and where this file has also been mentioned, showing here it's been tagged and mentioned inside of a loop page, which could equally have been shared in a Copilot page. You can also click into the bottom section to ask Copilot for more details, a specific question maybe that you want to be answered from that file. So yes, we can now use a new AI overview to have quick glances at your files without needing to open them individually inside of the relevant apps. So what do you think of these new Copilot features so far? I know many of you are still scratching your head on how to get the most from Copilot, and that's exactly where we can come in and help you, your team and business. Because if you're struggling to find that value in Copilot or don't even know where to start, why not get in touch and find out more about on-demand learning in our own academy? Also our training sessions that we can run live, in person and even remotely for you and your team and business. So to find out more and change the way that you work with Copilot, why not head to the link shown below, get in touch and we'll help you on your journey in Microsoft 365 Copilot. Now let's head back into those Copilot features and continue to find out what's new. And there's now a new agent available to us in Copilot called the Surveys Agent. We can access this by on the left hand side of your Copilot app, selecting all agents and then surveys. This Surveys Agent integrates in Microsoft Forms, allowing us to check the status of a form or even create a new one. Let's now go ahead and ask our Surveys Agent to create a customer feedback survey for our recent Project Greenspace community event. Giving that to our surveys agent, it now begins to come up with the questions and we could even attach files like Word documents or PowerPoints into our surveys agent to use it as the basis of our questionnaire or survey. We can now see as quick as that, the survey has now been completed and it links it directly in Microsoft Forms. Left click this option and we can now see the survey shown on the right hand side. You can get an idea of the questions that Copilot's come up with but if you're ready to share it and send it out, select Open in Forms, and now you can just do exactly what you would normally do in Forms. Collect responses, view them, or make any other changes. But the Surveys Agent now allows us to build forms in a really quick way and use associated data to make it even more relevant to your own requirements. And PowerPoint now has new capabilities with Copilot 2. We can see here a PowerPoint deck that we run for one of our live sessions in our own academy. But as we scroll through the slides, we'll see a slide here that doesn't have any notes whatsoever. We can see that by selecting notes and find there are no speaker notes. Now this is also a bit of a problem if we've shared the PowerPoint deck with one of my colleagues to present, but there being no speaker notes. But we can quickly resolve this. Under the notes drop down, we can now select generate speaker notes for the current slide or all slides in the PowerPoint deck. We'll select this option just for the current slide. Copilot now begins to generate the speaker notes based upon the content on the slide itself. And we can now see here a professional set of speaker notes. And again, we can do that for all your slides or just one in particular with the help of Copilot. But I know that some of you have asked before, is it possible to translate a whole PowerPoint deck with the help of Copilot? And now it is possible. In this PowerPoint deck here, we can see an option. Using the Copilot or AI button at the top of this slide, you'll see a new option to translate this presentation. Left click this and Copilot will now ask you for the language to translate this presentation into. Let's go ahead and scroll down and I'll change it to be translated into Spanish and select the translate button. Copilot will now create a separate copy of the PowerPoint deck. Yes, it won't translate it in place and ruin your existing slides. But we can see in seconds, Copilot has now adjusted the title of the deck. Scrolling through to the slide we've just seen, well here it is also in Spanish. As I mentioned, we can see from the file name, 
that it has the original file name, but it's been appended with the word Spanish. So we can actually see here that it's now possible with Copilot to translate your whole PowerPoint deck into a different language and keep all of the styles, themes and images in seconds. And there's now also changes to Microsoft Word. Now these are currently available on Word on the web. Yes, they're not available immediately on Word for desktop, but hopefully we'll see them very soon. Inside of the document here, I have a number of sections outlining where we are on Project Green Space. And in this section for budget and invoicing, well actually I think there's more detailed information from a different document that I would like to include inside of the report. But does that now mean we have to rewrite the entire report? No, it does not. We have a new option inside of Word on the web. We can update just this section here from a separate file that we've got access to. What I'll go ahead and do is highlight the current content and select the Copon option on the left hand side. In the drop down that appears, we can now scroll down and we'll see the ability to update with. Select the option here and we'll see a Copilot prompt now appears. We could select from files, emails, or meetings because maybe that's the content I want to update it with. Selecting the invoice performance report, which is a separate finance report on how we're doing on invoicing, I'll go ahead and left click that. We'll see here it shows update with content from the invoice performance report and I go ahead and then click on the enter or send button. And it now begins to rewrite this section with content taken from that specific file. And there we go, we can now see that change is made. The current position has been entirely rewritten to include information from that report. The key insights and actions, once again from the report, and the next steps as well. So as simple as that, we now have a co-pilot content taken straight from another report, updating a specific section of your document. And another change on Word of the Web gives us the ability to use Copilot to fix spelling and grammar issues. We can go ahead and see this section here, a number of problems exist within it. Rather than fixing them individually, we can highlight the content, select the Copilot option, and select Fix Spelling and Grammar and it'll go ahead and begin to look over that content. And as quick as that, the change is now being made by Copilot. We select Keep All, and that now has been finished. So we can also use Copilot to fix spelling and grammar issues across an entire document or just a specific section. So there we go, nine new Microsoft 365 Copilot features. And I'd love to know what you think of these new changes and which one is the most important for you in the comments below. To me, I feel the big improvements here have been to co-pilot in Microsoft Outlook. Creating an agenda in seconds that isn't generic, but now uses your work data to bring it all together. And also being able then to prepare for your meeting with a single click. That invokes co-pilot chat, pulls back the information we need, and then you can also be ready for your meeting. Because ultimately, being prepared for your meeting is as important as you showing up in the first place. But there's also lots of other small changes too, like generating speaker notes in your presentation. How many times have you picked up a PowerPoint from one of your colleagues that you need to present and there are no speaker notes? So now Copilot can create them for you, really aligned to the content in that presentation. And while you may now think there's no further updates coming to Copilot, but I can say there's lots more changes still to come, all positive improvements on how Copilot works. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because we're going to be showing off some more of some brand new capabilities in Copilot very soon. And of course, if this tutorial has helped you, hit the like button to let me know or just comment below. And other than that, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.